souls and these and these yeah I so warm up another set one more set splendid that's what that was the longest five seconds of the world wasn't it if only it was the same for her <laughs> go and try a luck test me in again we let it rain please don't start us up that black and white that yin and yang this thing off the seat please don't search us we don't got a say tell her park it up then at Okay, so today we're at Fitness Element. Big leg day today. Hit back this morning, but decided to come back because my man Will Tennyson, probably one of my like biggest Canadian collaborations yet. Obviously, we did Nelk in, in when we were in LA, but today we got Will Tennyson here. We're gonna be hitting legs, and I'm gonna run him through sort of what I usually do. So since my shoulder's still recovering, I'm we're probably not gonna do any heavy barbell back squats just because my mobility's not great. But we're waiting on him right now. I'm gonna do some cardio, take some pre-workout, and then I'm gonna get, I think we're gonna start on some leg extensions with some lying leg curls. So we're gonna go hard today, some isometric holds, some giant sets, probably some heavy leg press, so a whole bunch of different stuff. You guys can try the workout out for yourselves, but uh, once he gets here, we'll get right into it. Let's go. I'll mostly just talk to his camera and then we'll just we'll just film it and then you guys will just watch because it's good You know you like the last video, so it's good. Okay, so first exercises got a super set just to get warm So I'm starting light and I'm gonna work up to heavier and heavier weights I'm gonna do some holds and stuff. So I'm squeezing the rep at the top We're gonna probably do like 12 to 15 reps on each of these okay. Just feel it out and get blood in the muscle, but leg extension super setting with uh, lying leg curls So two opposing muscle groups yep. and then after that we'll get into a heavier more compound movement okay. Since I'm dealing with the shoulder injury, we'll do Smith instead of normal barbell back squats okay. But uh, if, if, it, if it is good, I think it, you said it was pretty good yeah, for squats yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So we'll do that and then after that we can go into more yeah. just higher volume, less compound okay. movement like Four that. sets? Five sets? Four, four to five sets four just sets. feel it out. So okay. Yeah, feel so you're not really going for like a heavy, just kind of skin the muscle, the blood. No, I, just, the I don't really follow routine for my warm up. I just really just try to, like, once I feel good, I feel like I'm not risking my joints and everything, and yeah. I feel warm enough, then I'll yeah. just go into my okay. heavier movement. Sounds so. good, man. So. The first like 10 or so reps, I'm just gonna squeeze for like two to three seconds at the top. A lot of people when they're bodybuilding, they go like super slow, which I used to do. And I used to, like, it's fine, it's good for building a mind muscle connection, but I learned over time that going explosive, just like a power lifter or someone who's trying to lift more heavy, was just as good for building muscle because you're getting different muscle fibers firing. Yeah. So when I'm coming down, I am going slow, two, three, even up to five seconds of my eccentric, and yeah. then I explode up as hard as I can squeeze for two to three seconds at the top during my warm-up one second on everything else and then just come back down pause at the bottom and then explode from there so there's yeah. no momentum involved so if only we could trade uh, muscle groups like pokemon parts like yeah give me some legs and i can give you some uh maybe some upper everybody chest. would want calves that's what yeah. everybody wants yeah some chest that's what i need yeah <laughs> good man the temperature in here is not freezing like oh, all the you, other you, by the end of this workout you're gonna be driven okay that's good yeah. <laughs>
What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Gotta put a tank top on. It's warm enough in here that I can do a few sets and then put it on. Most of the other gyms, negative 50 degrees on a warm day. We might have to throw some curls in at that. Dude, it's, a, it's like the upper body leg. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Always focused on like really controlling the movement. Just most recently, I've been implementing a lot of like isometric holds and stuff. So, for example, like on the leg press, when we go do it, you're also doing press, but when we go and do it, we'll do a 30 second isometric hold before we even do the, the 15 reps or 12 to 15 yeah. reps that are involved. So, intercept stretching. So, if I can hold, obviously, here it's on the contraction, but if I can hold at the bottom of the yeah. movement, I'm just getting a lot of blood into it and that the, the reps just burn like crazy. So, it's an odd thing, like bodybuilders crave. Pain. <laughs> you, just, you just naturally stay show ready year round, right? 5%. <laughs> You're living on uh, yeah. exploding a lot, yeah. especially with the hamstrings because of the fast twitch fibers. So yeah. just explode as hard as you can from the bottom. Come on, push, wrap it up. Come on. Once you get to the last rep, there's so much blood in your quads, you can't even, you'll be able to do a full rep. You'll drive, you'll squeeze your quad as hard as you can. And then the next rep is like, literally can't flex it anymore. So, oh yeah, I'm at that point. So now we're moving on to uh, Smith, uh, Smith Machine Squats. So how many reps for a Smith Machine Squat? 12 to 15 probably. Okay, four sets? Yeah, but it's gonna be more like quad isolated rather than like both. And so. is, it, is it like a constant thing you kind of go, you do your sets the last one to waste to failure? Yeah, I, usually, I pyramid up and then my last set I'll take at least within like two to three reps of failure depending on it. Okay. These I do like it because you don't risk the joint when you go that close so you, yeah. can, you can push those limits a little bit but All right. what I'm going to do is shift my feet more forward okay. so that I'm squeezing through my quads a bit more and I can drive through my heels. You said it's deceivingly heavy, right? Yeah, it just because it feels like you think it's a smith and you unrock it it's like a real, it feels like a real bar. Come on. 
Yo, one more. Yeah, one more. I'm gonna go heavier, you can put your shoes on, just so you don't something. You can put my shoes on, it's hard right now. You can work up to like four plates, right? On squats? Yeah. For, for a few reps? Or? Yeah. Compared to this, it's like just all isolation. Well, because also it seems like because you're going your feet out more, you're gonna get like deeper range of motion. Like you're going way below parallel. When you do something like this, you can just solely focus on just breathing. Yeah. It's good, it keeps it off the knee joint because you're like, you may be slightly more narrow, but as you come down this stretch here and your quads and your hamstrings, is that are sweet? And then as you drive up and force your toes upwards and drive through the heel, you flex your practice for more as your upper quad. So another set? One more set. Splendid. Tight, core tight, squeeze the boots. Drive. Come on. Come on, don't rest, let's go down. Yep, drive. Good. Come on. Up. Good. Yeah. Shit. Let's get for this. Do you, uh, do the leg press? Yeah. That's like a squat meets leg press meets leg extension. Holy shit. Super isolated. Yeah, you start six or? The part about this exercise is re-racking all the plates. That's, say. That's the only issue with this. Like, rather. Right. So we'll do the isometric holds on this. Yeah, 30 seconds, like you said. So when I come down, if I focus on driving my knees outwards and bring them down to my chest while keeping my hips in the pad. Then I'm gonna get way more hamstring activation and way less quad. So sometimes if I do this, if I come in more narrow, I can actually do similar to what we're doing in the sissy squad and hit my outer sweep, hit my upper quad. We're going, high and wide, right? we're going high and wide. This is almost like a, this is pretty close to a vertical leg press. Okay. So it's gonna be all hamstring anyways. So far down that it goes on my lower back, especially since we've already done a lot of movement. So a good position where I'm talking about guys. How long did I hold for? It was only like 20 seconds, right? Not sure, we're gonna have to play it back. Yeah, I know what 20 seconds feels like, but I did not hold 20 seconds. What, it felt like more or less? Oh, fucking two minutes. I know. So what I'm probably gonna do is like a 15 second hold, rep for as, long, as many as I can. So it's probably gonna be 10 to 12, I'll leave like two reps in the tank. And then what I'm gonna do is wait 10 to 15 seconds and go again. So like not, not the hold, but just more reps. Which I'll be aiming for more like probably like 
max five to six reps. Right. You got you got thirty. Think you got thirty. Okay. What I, I don't know what I did last. I, just, set. I don't I actually don't know. I just it didn't feel like thirty. I just it's just a lot of motivation. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Moral support. Okay. Three. Huh. Oh. One more set. I just said, I was wishing it was five sets. Really? It's a hamstring movement, my quads are bumped. When I started, I lifted the slowest you could ever lift. The slowest. Everybody commented on it and I was like, no, I'm doing it right. Which, to a certain extent, yeah, you can focus on going slow and controlling the weight, but after a certain point, you need to start building the fast twitch, right? So even if it's going faster, if I'm still able to control the weight, like especially with that movement, yeah. I can go super explosive, squeeze my quads, get my quads super full of pump. Like I don't have to go so slow to the point where I'm like, I can't, I'm not even keeping tension on it if you go yeah. too slow. So it's yeah. using a mixture of both. We'll just do lying leg curls, super set with seated leg curls, just cause there's no, not gonna be any lower back. We already did that. Like, holding and shit, but like, a lot of, a lot of like, Isometric holds in this shit is mental versus like actual physical. Yeah. When you go to like heavier movements, compound movements again, your responsiveness to that, your body is just prepared because it's not like, yeah. it's not under that much load for such an extended amount of time. So you that point of failure with a partner, you know? Oh, absolutely. My brothers and I train together sometimes, but if we're doing sets and shit like this, you just need someone screaming in your ear, like yeah. forcing you past failure. I've seen like, fucking my ancestors up there. <laughs> so yeah, if we do if we do leg curls, super set it with leg curls, like lying super set with seated. Run to the last thing after the legs, we're doing with hamstrings. So we're doing a super set with seated hamstring to the lying one. So two sets on this, two sets on that. 12 to 15 reps on the lying one, we're in a failure. Each, each set? Yeah, for the lying, because we'll, we'll, that's our last thing. Okay. Pull yourself into the pad and just squeeze it. Same thing with the toes, keep them pointed up.
you look closely, Will's actually using this as a chest press and tricep movement. Have you actually gone in a while? I haven't squatted in a month. So, mainly leg press you've been doing? I've literally just been doing like leg extensions, leg press, hack squat. Hack squat. If they had a hack squat, that's what I asked you. If they had yeah. a hack squat, I would have done that. Because hack squat, that's essentially what that is. You know, you're, yeah. you're driving backwards, but yeah. it's just so good for like isolating. Yeah. That's good, man. Like, fucking killed it. Holy shit. Nice like, workout, dude. Show me a few things, man. I'm sure I'm implementing some of that stuff.